Welcome to another episode of Uplifting Interviews with Total Strangers. I've got Ray Ann, Ray Ann, and she is a, a young 89. She didn't want to jog home today. She said she's going to do it on her next birthday. And uh, so I'm going to drive her home. And uh, you, are, you are a Los Angeles native. Yes. So you've seen a couple changes in the last 89 years. Yes. <laughs> what, uh, tell me about being a teenager. What year were you a teenager? Well, I graduated uh, junior high in 1943. Okay. And senior high in 1946, so that's when I was a teenager. Okay. Let me ask you a question. In 1944, I think it was, they had what's called the Battle of Los Angeles. I don't Okay, it was a uh, it was a flying saucer that they shot. Oh, they I had sort a, a of, sort of remember that. Sort of remember that? Yeah. that was just you know, they sh they shot thousands of rounds of ammunition right. at this object. And... Okay, we're back with Rayanne. We had a... in 800 feet, turn right onto West Olympic Boulevard. We had a little technical difficulty, so we were talking about um, in 1944 they had the war, a battle over Los Angeles, and you don't remember that. Take the next right. And you... Take the next. Onto West Olympic Boulevard. You don't believe in UFOs, or uh, no, I just don't pay attention. Oh, you don't pay attention. Okay. okay. And you say you were uh, married twice. Right. And you outlived both husbands. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Carrillo Drive. When's the next marriage? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Who's your boyfriend? No. No boyfriends? Oh, Rian. I, I had an offer. You had an offer. Yeah. There you go. I turned him down. No time for him, right? Uh, now I look at it. I, I live in a assisted living home. Okay. Now I eat the meals on the same table with him, and I look at him and I think he's he's nowhere. I mean, he's. <laughs> <laughs> you he was supposed to take you out of that, right? Whatever. So how is um living in an assisted living home? It's just okay. It's okay. You prefer not to. I prefer. But but the kids didn't take you in, or you no, didn't want to oppose. They, they can't. One lives in Aspen. Aspen's a great place to live. Yeah, but I, I'm not going to live in Aspen. And the other one is, no, she's, she's still got one kid home. No, I... This Turn is, left onto Carrillo Drive. Carrillo Drive. But uh, you, you have some friends there? You're having a good time? Yeah, I, I've made some friends. Okay. Okay. And uh, so let's talk about uh, Los Angeles again mm -hmm. in the old days when there was farms and... Uh, and I took the streetcar, lots of places. Uh-huh. And I took the bus, but that's a lot of people still take the bus. But I used to take, I lived right near the R car. And I used to take the streetcar all kinds of places. The R car? Uh-huh. What is the R car? Well, that was the name of, the, of the, that particular streetcar. They had several streetcars. Okay. Now, were they electrical or uh, powered yeah, by electricity? Had, oh, yeah, they were electrical. They had the things above, yeah. And um, so you've seen a couple changes in Los Angeles. What do you think about the the, the crowd here now? I, well, I hate the traffic. It's a little, it's a little off the... Uh, I mean, the traffic certainly wasn't like this. Oh, I mean, it's... Well, there's 10 million people here. Oh. How, how many people lived in Los Angeles? Still, and you know, when it comes to Rose Bowl and they show you how gorgeous it is, you get more people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah stop. In 800 feet, keep left to continue on McCarthy Vista. How um, aggravating it is to advertise how great a place this is, right? So, Brianne, I want to thank you for participating in the short, uh, sweet interview. interview. And uh, what advice do you have for people? My you, age. Not your age, just people in general. What, what's your advice to the world? You've lived 89 years. You, uh, what kind of motivational advice would you give um you know, it's a silly saying, but it's what they say these days. Keep on keeping on. Keep left to continue on McCarthy okay. Vista. Keep left to continue on McCarthy Vista. Don't, don't, don't give in to the bad things in life. Right. Give in to the good things. Right. So keep on keeping on. And that's obviously a very positive. Yeah. I, I believe the whole my whole channel is about being positive. L living for the day, not re living for retirement. Or... Um, thinking about tomorrow or yesterday mm -hmm. you know right. live for today right but all we have is today correct that's absolutely true so keep on keeping on huh mm -hmm. thank you so much Rayanne. continue for one mile i just introduced i just introduced rayanne to the theory of being fantastic what do you think about that 
I think that I've got to use that. And when people ask me how I am, I'm going to say, fantastic. And you told me that your husband used to say that. Oh, all the time. <laughs> and it made you feel good. Uh, yeah. You know. And it made everyone feel good. Sure it did. But you never used it for some reason. No. You never thought about using it. No. But now that you see the logic of how that helps people. And I have this little card you gave There you do. And look at the logo. B, uh -huh. fantastic. Uh -huh. The B is pollinating positivity. So, Rayanne, you're part of the group. Okay. You're going to be fantastic the rest of your life. Absolutely. I, I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Rayanne. That's fantastic. There you go.